We all know when a child goes missing that police will pull out all the stops to find them. But what if the child missing is part of a game? Yeah, it's a frightening new thing happening on social media. Amanda Ferguson with where they're turning running away into a dare. That's not funny. 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 It's a game? There's no prize? It's a game so serious, so cruel, it's even shocking among these Toronto teens. I would have never do that. I love my parents. Kids daring each other on Facebook to vanish from their parents for 72 hours without uttering a word to anyone. It's called the game of 72. Sounds pretty cool. Wait, what, what do you think? Sounds pretty cool. Why do you think it's cool? Because it'd be wrong. I don't know. Police in France found themselves wrapped up in one of these supposed games last week. A 13 year old girl named Emma vanished only to show up three days later, simply telling her parents that she completed the game of 72 Dare. In the week that's followed, the trend has since landed on the radar of Halton and Toronto Police. Something that we are aware of, so the Toronto Police is aware of the game of 72. However, um, it's not something that's prevalent or something very huge. Well, the game of 72 may not be in Toronto yet. Police say they do see a similar 72-hour trend involving teens and long weekends. Kids who disappear on a Friday and show up again on a Monday, all because their parents said no to a certain event. There are no statistics on the number of teen runaways in Toronto. However, on average, 4,000 people are reported missing to Toronto police every year. And annually, there are about 6,000 homeless teens in the city. From the moment that we receive the phone call, you have a frontline officer that attends, takes the report, and then that report is distributed to investigators, specialized units, where we go canvassing for the, uh, the missing person. Where were they last seen? Interviews are conducted, uh, neighbors are spoken to. So it's a lot a lot of manpower. Good, how's your day? Up to 50 Good. officers Good. per case per shift. She just turned 14. Is it something you would consider? No. Never. She has a loving home and a warm bed. There could be real ramifications for kids caught playing this game. Toronto police say if someone is caught bragging online about taking part, well, mischief charges could apply. At police headquarters, Amanda Ferguson, City News.